The new year has brought fresh tension in Bahrain. Clashes erupted in the state's capital over the arrest of an opposition figure. Riot police used tear gas and rubber bullets to crack down on protesters demanding the release of the top Shia opposition leader, Sheikh Ali Salman. Several people were injured in scuffles and dozens were arrested. Ali Salman was arrested and charged with supporting regime change on Sunday. Sheikh Salman is not the only opposition figure to face the anger of the Gulf monarchy. RT has been following the story of Nabil Rajab for quite some time. Apart from being Bahrain's most prominent human rights activist, Rajab is considered by some to be the unofficial leader of the opposition. His fight for human rights and democracy has previously landed him two years in jail. Rajab was released a couple of months ago, but was then promptly re-arrested over a tweet deemed offensive to the government. Physically, maybe I was tortured once only, but I have witnessed other people being tortured in front of my eyes. And I was asked to stand and sit naked uh, more than 50 times. Nabil Rajab told my colleague Kevin Owen he's under no illusions about what 2015 holds for him. It wasn't very pleasant here this year. I will spend most of it in jail. And let's hope the coming year it's going to be better. Sad year passed uh, where many people were killed in my country fighting for democracy and human rights with the neglect things and ignorance of the international community. When you have your quiet moments away from the cameras, away from the press, etc., do you ever feel a bit beaten down by it all, that you're not getting anywhere? Or do you have an optimism to go into 2015, to carry it forward to 2016? What keeps you going? Well, first of all, you have to remember, I have a court verdict coming the 20th of January, and I might be sentenced again up to, for a time up to six years because of the tweet I made. Now, Bill, as we head into a new year, what are your thoughts? Do you think you'll be under more or less pressure, pressure to quit what you're doing right now? Do you think you're going to have a slightly easier time of it or not? Well, I am having now a lot of pressure. You know that in the past five years, I am harassed on a daily basis here. My life is very difficult. But yes, again, I, can, I repeat, we are determined. We are committed to the principle that we are fighting for.